All right, welcome back, everybody. Give me just a moment here. There we are. All right, so hope everybody's had a good week. Yeah, and uh, hope people are looking forward, looking forward to the weekend. Only one more day. All right, rant over, and all right, welcome back, everybody. And so we are. Uh, if I can, yes, we are doing the first dungeon. Um, the uh, sorry, the first um. Uh, yeah, the first uh, Dawn Trail dungeon. It's uh, very early on uh, for that, so I'm curious as to uh, what it'll what it'll be like. Um, yeah, I have, uh, as you can see, I uh, I leveled up Pictomancer. I really like it. I I I, uh, I really like Hammer Time. Um, <laughs> call me, uh, you know. Call me silly, but uh, I like, uh, you know, taking the giant cartoon mallet and smacking people with it. Um, uh, but, like I said as well, I won't ever claim to, uh, pardon me, uh, be the best at any of these, but I also don't think that's quite the point, so. But yeah, uh, let's go here. I don't know where the dungeon will spit me out when I get back, but I'll make my way over to, uh, uh, pardon me, um, uh, I'm gonna make my way over to, uh, to Leolal to, uh, uh, to just make sure. And yeah, also since I have like a 10 minute wait here, but that's not a problem. Hey, boat, there we go. All right, we are in the proper continent now, at the very least. Right, it's over there. Okay. Well, we can uh, hang out right around here then. Yeah. I also, uh, uh, as I was trying to, um, while I was off stream, I did a couple of, uh, I've done like one day of hunts and I already just, you know, I was already complaining and hating, uh, Finding everything. Uh, finding, like, the where the, uh, you know, where the monsters and stuff spawn. Where I, was, I kept, and they're uh, complaining, going, oh, where is this thing? Like, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, I uh, kind of remembered that, uh, or it r reminded me that I don't really enjoy hunts. Um, <laughs> I just find them tedious, so... But, uh, I mean, I know they're good experience and all that, but... Uh, but yeah, it, um... 
they just aren't uh, aren't my uh, you know my, my my favorite type of uh, type of content. So. I guess the other thing too is uh, got to figure out if I should spend all those. Um, uh, what do I even check? Um, oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say, where do I check, uh, like my hunting log or whatever to see how many? Uh, oh, it'd be under currency, I guess, um, to see uh, how many of the. Uh, like gems or whatever I have to trade. All right, cool. As always, make the uh, koi comment. Okay. I'm not 100% sure how long the dungeon is, or, you know. Or what's really going on. Um. This is kind of starting off like, um... Uh, the second Garlean uh, dungeon. Okay, so now we're hitting fish. I forgot these uh, have a longer cooldown. Okay. Okay, I'm all painted up. something for you. I'm guessing it's a boss fight. Or not. Okay. Uh, let's paint another one of those. Do some damage here. Okay. Improvise. Hey, I don't like that.
Okay. So we're... We're stuck? What's, what's going on? See if there's a route over land. We'll try and catch up later. Okay, we still haven't fought a boss yet. Oh, never mind. There's one. Okay. Alright, well, let's see how poorly this goes. Punity! Is that how you pronounce that? Punity press. Okay. At, oh, oh. Oh good lord, what am I? Where am I? What? <laughs> it's too many AoEs. Hey, I am out of paintings. Um, Song of the Punity. Okay. Oh lord. Uh. Um... Okay. I think I made it. Whee! No, I'm gonna save that. Okay. Oh, okay. Aiming. Fencing. Right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just pass on those. All right. We beat the, uh, we beat the big manatee. I really hope that's not a euphemism I just said. Please don't clip that. Ooh. What is this? Something or other widow maker. Looks like a weird, like, anteater type thing? I'm not sure. Paint me a wing here. Paint another one. Let's paint my hammer, which will be ready in a minute. Please don't make me repaint all my stuff when I get up here.
Seems you'll be taking the long way around. I'm gonna kill those two. <laughs> uh oh. Mimic plot? Okay, what? Should I be concerned? I don't think there's any more loot I haven't voted on. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Slaying, striking, pass, pass, cut. Drowsy. Wait, it's a Pokemon. Um, I don't have any Pokeballs, though. So... Okay, what? What is... Huh? Am I in the... That! Invigorates the roots. Uh-oh, I made friends. Okay. Hammer time. Okay, that's not ready either. There we go. Nice. Okay, he wasn't so bad either. I mean, it's also nice that everything was well marked. Um... Gonna need that. Uh, aiming pass. Okay. Uh, I 
Oh, you know what it is? I probably don't have room in my inventory for the necklace. Or, uh, yeah, in my, uh, my armory chest, I should say. Ah. Yeah, God, I need to go through that stuff for, uh, that! There we go. One loot here. Uh, ring of fending. Oh. So let's say, what are you. Okay, never mind. Guess we're about to find out what that is. I'm guessing that's third boss. Hey, out of gas. Okay, I need like all my paintings. <laughs> uh, ooh, casting earrings. I think the tank is Apex Predator Apollyon. Ooh, that is a big bug. You are one angry, uh, angry mantis person. Um, I'm gonna need that and pass on that. I don't, oh, it's Dark Knight. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was fast. Okay, mine's not up for another four seconds, so... Uh... There we are. Let's do this again. Okay, you see some ads on the list? I don't see ads. Strength in Napoleon's wing beats. Whoa, well, Lord! Woo! <laughs> Paint that right now. Um, <laughs> Get 
Okay, wait, hold on. I didn't think I was... Why did I get hit by that? I think I got hit by that. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um... Okay, yeah, I don't like that. Um. Oh, never mind. Dead. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Um. Okay, this boss has a lot going on. Am I... No. Okay, I can't tell where I'm supposed to stand there, then. Oh, Lord. Leave me alone! <laughs> Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Yeah, the final boss has a lot more going on than, uh... Um... Than the other two, I won't lie. Uh, don't need that... Don't need that... Alright! Ha! I died and received a player commendation, and gained... 50-something hundred XP? This is as far as we can go on foot, it seems. <sighs> we'll have to head back and see about fixing the boat. Okay. Hey! Everyone alright? Hey. Right. I'm gonna burn. Uh, I'm gonna burn Rianjay's cards and break Thancred's knees. I was worried we might not catch up to you. Okay, why was the last line of dialogue spoken and these ones aren't? Sure, are dug by the Yokoi in their search for gold. Remnants of their excavation can be found through the region. Lesson, a wise guide. Are we oh, landing this boat anytime soon? Okay. <laughs> Journey is almost over. For proof of that, you need only look ahead. Okay. Okay. 
Falls, okay, we're nearer some falls. I'm still not sure where we're going. Yes, amazing, now please let me off. Boats. <laughs> that are you? Oh, you're not all right. She'd be surprised if she was. Even without nausea, we're all spent. Uh, mountain shelter nearby, resting spot for those who've ascended the stairs. I suggest we make use of it. Welcome respite. Short walk. We can rest on the way too. Moaning and moaning like a sick kitten. Uh, it's too late to change teams. It's the nausea talking I'm fine lead on. Claim it to the throne doesn't mean you uh, can't be uh, can't be seen to struggle and bury the birdie and alone. I'm gonna say that one, I guess. What does he need? I'll be waiting at the shelter. Yep, there it is. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, there's your problem right there. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Turn that to my inventory. Um, turn this to my inventory. Uh, turn that to my inventory. Turn that to my inventory. This to my inventory. Yeah, we'll return that to my inventory. Cause why not? Um, oh, hey, look at that. Uh, 
huh? Yeah, okay, we should turn that to my inventory because I have the uh, Limbo Necklace of Casting, which is, you know, fine. Hey, look at that, I have room in my, uh, I have room in my inventory chest to, uh, equip that now. And, oh, I get uh, a couple other things too, okay. Nice. Well, it helps. I'll take I never talk to anyone uh, when I was confused or hurting, admit weakness, shape up his name, if they're willing to listen, uh, then there are things I'd like to talk about. Okay, go for it. Come on, let's catch up. Uh, oh, okay. We're... No, oh, hang on. Let's not make the bird... Let's not make the giant bird run. Okay, let's just drive. Tengu. Okay. I'm also realizing how dangerous what I'm doing is, considering I'm driving around uh, with enemies right near the path and I haven't drawn anything. Um, let's... Uh, let's fix that. I think starting a fight with those, you know, available will probably result in better results for me. Many fires! I mean, I kind of hope not. Um, no many fires result in many burnt trees? Okay. Oh, okay, well, Clomot is here. Stop here for the night. I understand the desire to rush ahead. Need to recuperate. Settle in. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to keep reading. I've been meaning to ask, but how does one become the adopted child of the Dawn Servant? I was but a ball of fuzz at the time, so I don't remember much. My earliest memories are of life in the palace. Okay. All I know is that I was born in Ikbrash, a village in Yaktel. But I've never bothered to return there. As far as I'm concerned, Ulul Jaja is my only parent. Okay. I quite understand. I have no memories of my birth parents either. Ooh. For a while, I wanted to learn who they were. But over time, that curiosity waned. Galif was my dear grandfather, and he was all I needed. Fair. So our situations were quite similar. Even though Papa already had a trueborn son, he raised me and Kona with no less love. One time. <laughs> I'd wandered off alone into the forest and gotten lost. Before I became a meal for some beast, Papa dropped everything and came to my rescue. I was scared and sobbing and ready for a scolding. But the head of resolve praised me for surviving the ordeal. Yeah. I did get my lecture from the head of reason, though. He went on and on about the dangers of the jungle and all the horrible ways I could have died. Yeah. Up, Papa was kind and patient, but a tyrant when it came to training. Now, of course, I realize he was preparing me for my duties as a promise. For all the good it did. There's so much I failed to learn about my own country. Whether it's alpacas or ihihana, I hardly know anything. I've lived such a sheltered life, yet convinced myself I understood Tural and its people. I don't have Kona's education or Zoralja's strength. I'm all bluff and bravado. Not fit to bear my title. Mm. 
I mean, we already know this. She keeps saying she wants peace. Um, I think this is probably... Yeah. Probably the right answer, but... Don't compare myself to my siblings, you mean? Hmm. I... I think I see what you're saying. My reasons for joining the contest have nothing to do with my brothers. Okay, that's not quite true. One of your brothers, you literally said you don't want them to be king. Like, <laughs> or... It's always been about the Turali and what I can do for them. You said it yourself. How important it is to properly know something. To hear the voices of others, empathize with how they feel, and think how best to serve. In so doing, you'll come ever closer to being the person you wish to be. Oh. I'm sorry, everyone. I've been a fool. From this moment on, I'll stop trying to be the promise I'm not. I won't faint strength to hide my weaknesses. Step by step, I'll learn all there is to know and love about Tuli Hyolal and my fellow Turali. It might not be the smoothest path, but it'll be a path of my own making. I will find a city of gold for all of us. Along with the answers you seek about your grandfather, Cryo. I swear. I appreciate it, Wuklamart. But you needn't take on that burden as well. Galuf Baldessian dedicated his life to protecting people from all manner of threats. Is that wait, Baldessian? Like Baldessian Arsenal? To endanger others for the sake of a personal investigation. So let's just concentrate on winning the contest. We have a shared goal, and, if at all possible, I'd rather we enjoy the journey. Oh. Here, here. We are companions on the same road, bound for the same destination. With our combined talents, nothing will stop us from reaching the Golden City. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. Oh. In the second promises camp, that's Kona's camp. I think. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. They're like 20 feet away. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying themselves. Are you sure you don't want to go and say a word to your sister? No, I want you both to come over here so I can kick the shit out of you for causing that cave-in. <laughs> nay, there is no need for that. Uh, but what of you two? Wuklamat's allies are your comrades. It must feel strange to be rivals. Helping you has made us rivals, aye. But we're not about to break into fisticuffs over it. Says... Unless, of course, it is a matter of winning or losing the contest. Then I'll have no qualms about putting Alizé on her rear. <laughs> Despite our long history, never have I been given the chance to test myself against our companions. The thought stirreth within me a most unexpected sense of competition. I'm over here to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lamachi has surrounded herself with distinguished figures indeed. One of the studium's finest graduates. The head of the students of Bardesian. And then there's Eorzea's vaunted champion. If she's half the hero you say, then the odds are stacked against us. Not that I have any intention of bowing out.
Our time in Urkopacha only served to strengthen my resolve. We saw how a single storm cut off the alpaca roots and threw my people's lives into disarray. Such uncertainties are why I advocate for the adoption of Charlian innovations, that Tuli Yolal might know greater stability and prosperity. Our nation can change for the better, and I will be the man to change it. Well, it's a start. I imagine your experiences on this journey, all the things you'll hear and feel and think, will help you refine that approach. But to return to the subject of the right, I'm a touch concerned by the condition for victory. The claimant who breaks the seal becomes dawn not the one who performed the seven feats first. The would-be victor need only possess the seven keystones. That is correct. As the contest wears on, we must brace ourselves for greater conflict. Yeah, they have a point. Um, the later on in the contest it goes, the more likely uh, one of the uh, the first promise or the other two-headed one will uh, try and just take the seals from one of one of, if not both, of Kona and uh, whatever. But the first promise. Oh, it's going to turn out that these two are working together somehow. Your rivals still lag behind. The second and third promise may have recruited competent lackeys, but none compared to you. You want to glaze him some more? <laughs> How can they hope to compete with the resilient son? The only child ever sired by a two-head. Only the ignorant or foolish could fail to see that you were born to be Don's servant. Okay, never mind. He's just gonna keep... Yep. Such titles mean nothing. Ooh. Ah, I neglected to mention, when I first heard the rumors that the contest involved the Golden City, I spoke in confidence with Gulul Jaja's inner circle. They all agreed on one thing. Whoever reaches the City of Gold will attain a power so great, it can dictate the course of history. Uh-oh. If this power truly exists, then I humbly beg a fair share of it. Time is passing, and I would put my plans in motion without delay. The useless tool is cast aside, after all. And just so there is no misunderstanding, you consent to this course, no matter who is made to suffer. Okay, so what's Surreal's play then? What's, yeah, what's going on here? In battle, everyone bleeds. The Dawn's promise is no exception. Okay. What better lesson to teach our people the folly of war? Oh. So he wants to, oh, ooh, that's rough. So, by the looks of it, he wants to teach his people, like, re-remind them, like, how horrible war is by, like, getting them into one so they have to, you know, so they live through it firsthand. That's rough. Familiar with Bakul Jaja, okay. for a good scrap, but this bloated sack of bile was no challenge at all. Hmm. I wonder if the house cat is dead yet. Be a shame to lose a plaything, but we'd still have two more. <laughs> okay. If I may ask, chosen one, 
What are your plans for Tuliola after you take the throne? Plans? What makes you think we care about all that? We care only about the contest and proving our superiority. Yeah, he won't. They won't be a good leader. That would surely please mother and father. Yes, and when we become Don's servant, we'll drive out the weakling masses and invite our kid to live in the city. <laughs> Fine idea. Our family deserves better than that rotten jungle. But do it then. We must catch up to that one-headed pretender and remind him of the natural order. <sighs> I made it. <sighs> I thought we were missing someone. Where have you been? Oh, I feared I was done for when I fell from the boat. <laughs> Yet, somehow I made it. <laughs> oh, my arms, I can barely lift them. If, if I could just rest a moment. <laughs> All right, there's a red flag, everybody. I think this guy's not making it. You expect us to wait for you? Those who can't keep up will be left behind. Dang. My brother has spoken. March, or be fodder for the beasts. All right, never mind. But I followed the teachings. Everything I've done, everything I've sacrificed, all has been for the blessed seedlings. Wait! Don't leave me behind! I'm begging you! Yeah, it, it's, um, it's fairly obvious that, uh, uh, Bakul Jaja just doesn't care about the country at all, so, yeah. Hey. See those things from me, relief. Okay. Party of NPCs, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, new weapon, nice. Uh, the Boblin settlement of Earthenshire is not far from here, but be warned the road favorable hunting ground for bandits. Fewer travelers, bandits on the road, landscape being doing. Okay. Head west, aim for the bank. I don't use these, but I'll get them anyway. Well, there's more of those widow makers. Okay, we're up here now. So it's not actually another area. Okay. Not full enough enough to attack a party of this size. Just a little further ahead. That does make sense, though. I mean... Any... Like, I mean, there are some pretty foolish bandits, but, you know, uh, a group this big, it's, uh, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty much asking for it. Oh, hey, speaking of which, come here, you. Oh, should have painted this first. Some sort of bird? I guess, yeah. I got three sacks of nuts I'm never gonna use.
Or to something or other. Oh, missed my jump. Okay, some sort of, what is that, basilisk thing? Wait, hold on. Is it this way, though? There we go. Some free XP, that's what. A lost fired bank. Huh. Oh, this is pretty. It's like porcelain almost. That's re yeah, that's really pretty. Where the Lay of Pots from Tuliola Saga took place. Earthenshire, Idleshire. Might the similarity be a cultural inclination, I wonder. Settlements themselves could be more different, though. The Shire appears custom built to resemble pots, while the other is a repurposed town. Yeah, that's true. Welcome to Earthenshire. Uh, do I have the pleasure of happy creating third promise in a retinue? Okay, well, that's, that's the same. Looking for the Dawn Servant Selector, if you know who that is. Exchanging tongue flaps with her right now. Ooh, that's an interesting uh, vocal thing, too. Ready Rock? That's straight to performing the feat. I just really would like to do that. We have more pressing things to worry about. Uh, storm which hit our village, shattered the cliffs, and dropped rocks in our brain cases. On our brain cases. Many help hands for the pots were and were injured. This is no time for feats or metal tests. Stormed into the stairs. Changed the subject, but what are the pots sworn? Goldsmiths. Okay. Uh, word comes from the pot lake worship practice or craft. Okay. Pots are in tools, materials, living quarters, everything the artisans could possibly need. This allows them to concentrate on producing what is widely known as the finest gold and metalwork in Tural. Well, I was promised no distractions. Should have never left... I'm watch you something or other. Okay. Not enough healthy uh, healthy help hands uh, failing to uphold our side of the pot pact. Let's horn leave. Earth and Shire will grind to a halt. We have to do something about it soon. Uh, stand in for injured helpers. Give me a chance to learn more about you and your people. I could use a nap. <laughs> Say that. Wasn't actually sure if I could do it all on my own. Uh... Bruce swears that once pot ends perfect workshop again, commence defeat with post haste. Is this Ragnarok? Other four follow Red Rock, Kelpan, State of Hand, Landing. Okay, well, good luck with that. Appreciate you pitching in. It was either that or sarcastically mentioned that I need to take a nap. There's no more point in feigning. There's, oh, there'll be no more feigning strength and we're playing at the Invincible Promise. I've uh, learned on this journey. It's uh, how practiced you are at eating those in need. Make the most of having such an incredible mentor at my side. I'm going to teach you how to die a lot. Okay. 
Oh, rack a rock, okay. I thought it was I wasn't reading it properly. I thought it said Ragnarok. Okay. Ooh, another pack of person here. May as well. Okay. Apparently they have constructed many more than just one etherite. Hey. Can't meet his obligations without more help hands. Pot pack is broken and our pots are empty. It accepts. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's only ten more. I'll get away without it. Few help hands create good living. Uh, Kai want to observe and anticipate. Find out what he's lacking. Okay. Okay. Just talk to him. That's not the way they do things around here, apparently. Okay, it looks like he's really hot. Expect a workshop. Okay. Alright, fail at fl flailing the camera around and pointing at things. Got it. Boiling sitting so close to the furnace, there's no airflow to speak of. Uh, no shortage of crafting materials. Something else he's missing. Okay. Touched his meal. Must be eaten hot or it loses its savor. Okay. Um. What am I? Pretty worn down. Maybe it's time for some new ones. No, I think he needs. Uh, I think he needs some ventilation. Got some ice. Of his working conditions. Let's head back outside. Yeah, ventilation, air conditioning. I don't know how hot it is here, but it's probably pretty hot, especially sitting next to that furnace. Hasn't touched his food, and an empty belly can't be good for his concentration. Maybe the cooking isn't to his liking. Amazing, why wouldn't he want to eat it? Uh, had sorrow. While everyone has their personal preferences, uh, there are some they tend to share, like an aversion to piping hot dishes. Uh, if it was brought to him like that, probably wouldn't have been able to eat it until it cooled down, and by that time when you get back to it, you might find it cold and unappetizing. Tastes good no matter the temperature. Would have thought of that. Okay. Couldn't concentrate. Uh, the Tsaro homeland is hot and dry, but even cats seem to be suffering in front of the furnace. Is there a way you could cool down the workshop? Try a drafty shard. Shoals of no return. Hang on, that sounds kind of that sounds kind of dangerous. Can we go somewhere you know, you know, less uh, ominous to get one? Savage one from Rex. Yeah, sounds good.
could tell uh, his files and saw is looking pretty worn down. Stocking materials, serious oversight. Okay. Past crags through tunnels southeast. Okay. Vantage point? Okay. This is where it told me to go. What am I... and care for the idea more effective to engage uh, a uniformly trained collective i cannot understand their fixation on individual contracts uh, the custom will make more sense once we begin the feed of pots till then we've been deemed unfit to assist in matters of help hands tass instead of tending to the injured on our way back to cure curves for Rianjay, in fact uh, settlements in Kozama 2 have been isolated by the storm's destruction. What uh, what would have become oh, of the wounded had we not found a way up here? Don Servant, one of my first acts, established reliable trade routes to the capital. Uh, what I imagine how much good uh, we can achieve with Charlian technology. Must consider, if you'll excuse me. Meet again soon. No, you get back here. I want to break your knees. Okay, is that where I'm going? Okay. Okay, why couldn't I have just gone south out of the village then? Yeah, there's a gate right here. Yeah, here we go. Swamp of Eternal Torment, is that it? Oh, never mind. Something else, okay. Um... Oh, hey, an ether current. Oh, hey, I'm Alboro. Hey, buddy. You cool over there? Cool. Okay. Uh... Right green crystal. Oh, hey. Okay. First try, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even have to fight a Marlboro. Okay, and back we go. Jungle Iguana. They uh, look like enemies from Final Fantasy IV. Uh, where am I going? There you go. Drafty shard. <laughs> Crafty shard, new set of tools he just brought. Beast fits for the most uh, discerning. It's on its way even as we speak. Okay. 
what he thinks of our efforts. Weird that we've got this, like, artisan in a cage, almost. Wondering what occasion uh, uh, called for me to receive so many visitors. Find meal, new tools, and a welcome source of cool air. Now I remember why I signed a pot pact. And considerations allow me a moment or two, and I'll reciprocate with a piece worthy of a pot, sm pot sworn. Okay, so the idea is that what they sign the agreement and they make certain things they guarantee that they'll make certain things but then also um okay oil lamp to brighten the halls of uh volux uh Sunsha. the craftsman satisfies earth and shadow's reputation for quality i trust lest there's such brilliance okay glad you like it consider the time i've wasted Considering the time I've wasted till now, I hope to continue crafting at this improved pace. I have a contract to fulfill after all. Hey, forgive my interruption. Hey, well, the elector has deemed the crisis past to task us with defeat. That's great news. Thanks for letting me know. Craft of a pot sword is indeed a masterful piece. Pray second promise. I drew inspiration from Kazama's natural beauty and sought to capture it in my work. Okay. I wondered why the Moblins did not uh, simply build a workshop in the city, and now I have my answer. Charlie and Goldsmiths could not easily replicate such exquisite artistry. Uh, cannot create great things if one lacks creative impetus. Tuliolal, fortunately, does not want for inspiration. Anyone wishing to learn the basics of a craft would do well to study it there. I was raised among Hitsaro more traditionally than most, uh, and the shared ingenuity of Tural's various people was eye opening. Traditional Hitsaro. A few fond memories of nomadic life. Hmm. Guessing it's not for everybody. By the looks of it. Hey. Okay. Rock very grateful. Thanks you both. Okay. All right. Beat of pots. Lector bids claimants assemble in a large building west side of the village. Ran into the levy with twins on the way here. Liberty directing them. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Kona's going to be, you know, whatever, but he could heal turn at some point. Rivals is not his job to make sure. I know the feat is starting, but even now he's conscientious to a fault. Yeah. Only thing I'm nervous about is if that, uh, you know, if, if winning becomes more important than, uh, you know, uh, than, uh, staying that way. Thanks for your assistance. Now it's feet once other claimants arrive. Be patient. Oh, that's fine. Report convinced one of the pots sworn to stay. How did you fare? Do the same. What the? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what the? 
Oh, okay, that's the weird that's from their masks. Okay, I was like, wait, what the <laughs> What what noise was that? Cleared many piles oh of rock falls. They were pebble stones, resilient sun. Okay. Fallen rocks. I'm surprised he would volunteer his time for anything unrelated to the contest. Growing up after all the work is done. Time just for the feet to begin. I bet he was already here laying low while the rest of us did all the work. Yeah, seems like it. Layman's attention. Explained. Any of our pots swarm left following the storm. Precious metalwork uh, crafted by those artisans. Uh, much money from across the salt. Should our stream of trade goods dry up, or will suffer? Tulio merchants will suffer. If you were to find one goldsmith and bring... If you were to find one clever hand goldsmith to bring back here to us. That makes sense. Taking advantage of the claimants and their influence. How does finding workers for you demonstrate their worthiness to the throne? Free to refuse the request. We'd be happy to inform the Dawn Servant of Jural Jaws. It's a means to an end. Steps we, t oh. Steps we take to get there are not important. The pot's begun, but remember, a pot pack must be agreed to willingly. No deceitful t yeah. No trickery, no whatever. Okay. Nothing about taking a willing artisan from a rival. Which is exactly what we should do. Okay, so... He brewed us up to something. Okay, he didn't exactly whisper that, unless I'm mistaken. Lay us again as he did on the river. Uh, we can remain vigilant. Come on, do you have any candidates in mind? I know some artisans among uh, my supporters, but they are all in their twilight years. Give up the comforts of Tuliol all to live in this remote village, no matter how beautiful the scenery. Probably has hung hundreds of young craftspeople to choose from. Understand, it's just a statement of fact. Mm -hmm. Try asking around back in, whatever there. Okay. We have to take a boat again. I can teleport. Can't stomach another boat ride. Can you not teleport? So I'll speak plainly. Yeah, really? Really <laughs> sick on boats. Yeah, we noticed. <sighs> this is hardly news. Current this time, heading down river will be much smoother. I can teleport back to town. Well, are you sure? <laughs> Positive, mostly. Hmm. <clears throat> Or, you know, we can just get sent back here. Need a moment up or down river. Too rough for me. More bearable now that I stopped trying to hide it, but I'd still rather not set foot on a boat. Master Ropley. Oh, wait, I got a new... Wait, what is this? 
rainbow drip. Okay. Grant's white paint. When rainbow bright is active, rainbow drip. Okay, what did I... Okay, so I just have a new AoE spell. Okay, but I can't cast it over and over because it has a longer recast time than... Okay. Well, that's cool. I must have got that for leveling up. I didn't realize that. Huh. I don't know if I should be casting that repeatedly or just like whenever I can um, uh, during like AoE encounters basically. Their promise that brings you back here. Chip to axe again, have you? No master Opley, I have a favor to ask. Do you know any craftsmen who might be interested? Filching my artisans for the moblins, eh? Seeing as it's the third promise making the request, I'm willing to look the other way if one of them decides to take you up on the offer. Only I can't uh, think of a suitable candidate off the top of my head. Who do I know with a mastery of goldsmithing that would have no qualms about relocating? What about, yeah, the Arisian goldsmith? Argentine. He did say he was employed at some fancy jewelry across the salt. Distance he's already come. I'd like to think he wouldn't mind moving a little further upriver. Said he's only just got himself a new job. Is it too soon to act him to sign a pot pact? There's no harm in making the offer. Once he hears how well uh, the pots weren't are treated, he may even jump at the chance. Uh, he won't find his workbench at this hour. Finish the day, a meal. Okay. Go there and talk to him. He knows us, wouldn't want him to feel intimidated by the crowd of new faces. Take a rest in the cabins, okay. Let's go see a man about a pot. Okay. At least I have movement abilities in this class. That's always nice in cities. Especially when it's not super easy sometimes to, uh... Uh... Down here? Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Chad, I just finished eating. Quiet spot outside. Beat you in a miserable state. Lost soul. Most welcoming, and for the first time in a long time, I feel content. I'm a pot sworn. New colleague mentioned the turn. That's when an artisan signs a contract to work for the moblins, isn't it? Turn out a moblin, I'm not sure I understand. It's a feat for the right of succession. I need to bring a new pot sworn to Earth and Shire. Now demanding you throw that away to sign a po uh, sign a pot pact instead. It's a selfish request, I know. 
tell you third promise. The other day I completed the necessary procedures for immigration. Pleased to say I'm now an, oh, an official subject of Tuliolol. Okay. Uh, I've since endeavored to learn what I can uh, my new nation, uh, beginning with the right of succession and its claimants, including you, of course. Uh, you will follow. It was my father's example, which led me to pursue goldsmithing. Uh, he was at the East End. Garley and forces laid siege to our settlement, and ensuing chaos, he was slain. War took him in an instant. Suffer that loss again. As much as I'm indebted to you for turning my life around, uh, this is a peace-loving fellow to Leon, and that I want you to win the throne. Oh, okay. Achieving signing a pot pact, I'll gladly do so. Cool. Form of my decision. I'm the reason you're leaving. I should be the one to deliver the news. Okay, which of the other ones is going to futz with this? Breck Evu, owner. Like a word if you don't mind. Your Wukulmat's ally from across the Saw Ray hero of some renown, too, if the gossip's to be believed. Could use some heroic help. It doesn't need to be right now. Uh, but could you come by when you have a spare moment? Much appreciated. I'll be waiting at my shop then. Oh, okay. Gain access to roll quests. Work Evu. Pursue new adventures as you progress to the right of succession. Okay, hold on. Uncouth customers. Okay. You've come along not a moment too soon. Urgent job in these doing. With one of the details, long story. Okay. Uh okay. So what's this now? Okay. Just myself properly, Brook Evu, proprietor. Establishment is open to anyone hailing from across the Rall. Sometimes uh, come here with appetite to slake their thirsts. Okay. Uh, it's never a few bad apples may mix in with the Molly patrons. Herein lies the rub. A particularly rotten bunch was here not long ago. Okay. They're, in fact, having a conversation most foul. Oh, okay. Thank you all for coming here so far from your respective homes. Okay. Gathered in one place, perhaps formal introductions are in order. What will you be having? We have a moment, please. Something very important, okay. Polly, if you sit here now, it's because I personally invited you to the Passage of the Unbound. Villainous order with ambitions to discord through the world. They don't often call themselves as such. Nor do secret orders have their meetings in places where all eyes can be. Carefully constructed atmosphere. I think... Okay, uh...
Punish those who dare mock and belittle me as long as I can achieve that. Do whatever you like. Weight of my ire. Grand design for a group of six. Even if we manage to muster others to our side, there's a limit, limit to what we can accomplish. Birds above, take flight, spread our wings, okay. It is raining, I'm... Okay. Treacherous and cloudy, even birds must rest, so... Finding strength, is that why we're here, to look for it? Ooh, I like that armor, though. Reminds me of Zenogre. That's... With newfound might at my beck and call, I shall win adoration, known, be known as a hero. Goal of reality lays across Tyrol. Oh, lays in Tyrol. Across this continent can be found certain artifacts which possess untold power. Adventurous hunt for instruments of devious devilry. New farms my trickery might take. Okay. Okay, so, hang on. <laughs> huh. <laughs> they didn't order anything. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> okay. But I think this is a little more important than... Uh, Whatever right now, that's long and short of it. What do you think? They left without ordering anything. Villainous indeed. Might lack discretion, but they seem formidable. Do we need to report we heard with the lands guard? We did, uh, but it didn't make a damn difference because uh, we soon learned those unwelcome guests had teeth. Not long ago, an individual from a remote tribe came here seeking help recovering a stolen relic. Then another came in with the same story, then another and another, and so on. Okay, so they have been... We realized Passage Unbound was a real threat. They had one and all made uh, their way across the sea with their ill-gotten gains. Oh. One of their own to recover what was lost. Uh, but being in strange lands, they're at a disadvantage. That's why I've been looking for someone who knows every corner of Aorzi and beyond. Business in Tyrol. Take time to hear. Brawl out. Uh, could be a helping hand. Hi. Okay. So where am I going now? Hmm. <sighs> Assisting me with this matter, quite desperate for someone suitable. Coming in daily news, and so I must ask, is there any developments that you might share? Bears the thought, you've come just in time, in fact, none of them on its fear is great to search for aid in the search. Turn, as so long as our sacred treasures are in wicked hands, our home shall know no peace, to say nothing of the danger they pose to other nations. These thieves really do intend to stir up chaos across the seas. Uh, then you had better depart on the next ship. 
Okay. Those who have come to Tarali in search for aid. Village far to the north, single warrior cannot hope to withstand power of her tribe's relics or request a stout protector. Uh -huh. Heirloom, someone or other must recover, inflicts terrible maladies upon victims. Seek someone who commands great healing. Okay, well, next. Search for tribal relic and peerless hunter. Require someone, frontline fighter, who can distract targets for a bow to take deadly aim. There is Suhi. A little about her people's ancient artifact. Decide it must not fall into the wrong hands. Uh, she seeks a major great power, but anything. Uh, beyond that lies shrouded in mystery. Okay, well, that's me. Now well, your crisis is just as pressing, even though you won't say so yourself. Okay, who's he? Further south uh, than even Mamuk, and has traveled many days and nights searching for someone uh, who can strike down their prey from afar. That's the only way to escape the effects of this village treasure. Did you get that? Five tribes, five stolen relics. Okay. So, there's magic and then there's ranged attacks, of course. Oh, he's, uh, he might be, um, uh, like, ranged physical DPS. Oh, okay, yeah. Tank melee DPS, ranged, yeah, ranged physical, magic ranged, and then healers, okay. Oh, pardon me. Okay. What you got? Yeah, we send you to help us recover our stolen artifact. Tremendous you've learned in you're learned in the arcane arts, power and wisdom. Sure, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, wisdom we require most. You see, even though the treasure has been guarded by our people for generations, we know little of its true nature. Ages past, the forests of our homelands were plagued by ter with terrible beasts, a constant source of fear and danger. To combat the menace, our mages spent many moons uh, researching the treasure known as the Perch of the Apex. Upon unlocking its secrets, they were able to drive monsters from the woods bringing peace at last the threat but eradicated our forebears forbade any further use of the treasure and enshrined it within the village years passed slowly f forgot what it was to live in fear yet as our struggle faded into memory stories surrounding the perch of the apex became legend and myth now none living are certain of its true power shattered member of the passage of the unbound villain wheeled away with our trust oh wheedled his way into our trust, stole, uh, then stole upon my husband, the treasure's anointed guardian, catching him unawares. Terrible blow that left him unconscious, okay. Yet to awaken, so my daughter, uh, set forth to retrieve what was stolen. Unlike her father, she has no skill in the arcane arts and chose the path of the sword. That's why I've been seeking someone with the knowledge she lacks. Uh, ancient power be unleashed. Um, find it in your heart to help. Yeah, sounds good to me. So where am I going? Uh, I spoke of a place called Rodzid Han. That's where I decided to begin our search. Okay. Stay in Rods at Han to gather information. Okay. So I'm going to Rods at Han, I believe. Right? Yeah, okay. Uh, it's gonna be expensive. Yep, oh well, whatever. Uh, 
Okay. Looking for me, whatever, for... My mother sent you. I already explained details, and we know next to nothing of the treasure and its capabilities. Legends passed down through our forebears on to go on uh, the Tural Vidral of an owl that once terrorized the forest, whose soul is sealed within the perch of the apex. Only become uh, more vague as the mist of time. Elders remember not, but an ominous warning uttered by those who once uh, wielded its magics. Uh, the master of the apex shall be showered with good fortune, yet leave only sorrow in their wake. Huh. Despite uh, owing their safety to the apex's power, our forebears viewed uh, it as something to be feared. The matter of the thief. Brief acquaintance. Uh, he made plain his desires to bring change to Rod Zedhan. Naturally started my search here. Anyone expressing dissatisfaction with the status quo. Stories of a recent arrival. A self-centered, self-styled savior of Rod Zedhan who proclaims that he will lead the city to greatness. It's himself the Justicar. Taking the burden of personally eliminating the beasts which infest Thavnir's wilds, he made great show of claiming he alone is equal to the task. To draw a crowd with his boasting, they only... Uh, they only watch with morbid curiosity as he sets off into the jungle alone. Nothing to do with our problem, but even the smallest lead. Uh, give speeches in the region's smaller settlements. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Good place to start, find our next clue. Sounds good. I will teleport to wherever the game tells me I need to go. I think that's just outside. I don't really remember. <laughs> that perfect. Okay, let's just since. Uh, oops. Okay, uh, that's on a two-minute cooldown now. Saw the very man we seek, gave him the same grand speech about saving the people, claiming the danger lurked nearby before venturing forth to combat it alone. Uh, yet the Radiant Host could not well stand idly by if there were truly beasts afoot, so one of them followed him. Okay. Ran towards the Shroud, might be able to spot him. You can see the whole forest from there. Okay. Oh god, I got a long way to go. Okay. That was a long ass, it's a long drive. Yeah, who could have foreseen my, uh, you know, my unwillingness to bother unlocking flying everywhere uh, would come back to bite me. Oh. Well, too late now, I committed. Yeah, let's just hope this doesn't require flying at some point. Okay. Never actually seen the Justicar. Just we find the Radiant Host instead. Uh, 
Uh, okay. No, well, that's a flower. There's also a flower. It's... Oh. Okay, what am I? Okay, what am I? Okay, I swear to God, this this stuff wasn't here before. What the hell, game? Well, what happened? We better get down there quick. Unless you're teleporting me down there, getting down there quick does not happen with uh, my movement. It looks like you got hit with a rock. Unconscious, otherwise appears unharmed. Looks like they got... Well, it looks like something else got hit with a rock, too. Hey, buddy. Remember anything? Found him. He was confronting that fiend that now lies dead. Yeah, but that's not a horrible monster. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a laughing stock. Come upon me your divine might. Okay. This is not what I expected. I'll dispose of the pest. Transform me into oh Okay, what happened? Huh. Mysterious light and boulders started falling from the sky. Down they came, one after another, that must have been struck unconscious.
blinked quite expectedly, uh, as if he had come upon a sudden revelation, or as if he was overtaken by madness. Seems he got away unscathed. He's a credible stroke of luck or whatever uh, he was beseeching to actually answered. Self same thief was stole the perch of the apex. Uh, he's reported here. First of all, I'll squirt this fellow back to you mean keep a close eye on him. I had wounds of a dreadful after effect. Okay. So he, if he keeps using it, he gets incredibly lucky, but then the people around him sort of suffer the consequences. Like, you know, his sort of, like, he causes bad luck to everyone else, I guess? Made his way to Rodzathan for formal report. Uh, an odd report it'll be. Count seems, oh, seemed to align with legends of the treasure's power. The wielder escaped unharmed and brought ruin to those around him. Uh, could those falling rocks have been a freak accident? I'm not so sure. Won't believe it, he came back. Came back to Justicar. Yes, not long after you left. Said he beat up a monster that knocked out a Radiant. Was laughing his head off. Did it really do that? Is he really stronger than the Radiants? No. Can't stop talking about him. He wants to be just like the Jessicar. His mom and dad weren't happy about that, though. Advise you and your friends to look to a different role model, but we thank you for telling us what happened. All well, this fiend skulking about, I suppose. Uh, I've been simply testing the treasure's capabilities. As far as we know, uh, he's yet to use its powers to evil ends. Uh, I find his motivations a mystery. To steal the perch of the Apex by force, only to come here to Thavnir to use it for good. It makes no sense. Uh, you've heard tell of his passage of the Unbound. Yes, many have ventured to Tuliol, claiming to be their... Oh, to be their victims. Um, claiming that yet they would be saviors. He had such noble goals, and why did he stoop to such devious deception? What could he be plotting? Neither here nor there. He stole from my people, and that misdeed can't be forgiven. Purse of the Apex helped us win peace. Uh, by its might, our forebears built the foundation we live on. So recently it stood silent, a symbol of our pride for our people. It reminded us that we carved out a home, an inhospitable wilderness. Trusted with its protection was a great honor. Well, yeah, also, we don't know the... Um, don't know about the Justicar. We'll have to assume he's learned to wield the Apex's power. I can't say whether those falling rocks have anything to do with it, but I won't discount it outright. Continue looking into his whereabouts, okay? Well, I mean, the other thing is, we don't know 100%, like, how badly things could go, depending on, like, how he draws on that, right? Developments less than encouraging, Jessica's actions have spread through the city, and with each retelling of his deeds, they become more valorous. The young citizens, in particular, seem to view him as some sort of an idol. Creatures he hunts posing no real danger. He would paint them as mighty beasts in need of felling. Of course, the Radiant Hosts are far 
too busy to trouble themselves culling every pest that casts a sideways glance at the city's gates. His twisted circumstances to, to his advantage. He proclaims to anyone who will listen that the Radiant Hosts shrink with terror before these beasts and that he's the only one who can eradicate them. Claims to be dismissed as wild ramblings. It seems no few people have fallen for his ploy. Whispers of his exploits among the youth grown with clamor. For his increasing fame only makes it easier for us to sniff out his trail. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Okay, back to Rods and On. Up to cover more ground. Okay. Where am I going? Wait, where am I going? Wait, I've never been there? What do you mean? Like, is that a new one? I've literally been in this room before. Or did they add a new, uh, Ethernet shirt, or, uh, yeah, Ethernet shard when they uh, put all this other stuff in the city. Huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hearing about this Justicar's popularity among the city's younglings is quickly becoming a cause for concern. Try as we might to refute his claims. The Radiant Hosts are allowing monstrous beasts to run amok unchecked. You know how young minds are impressionable and difficult to change once set. We initially disregarded him as boast, uh, a boastful eccentric, but his alarming sway over the populace can no longer be ignored. We are present... We are present considering whether to open a formal investigation into his activities. This, uh, this ally of yours have done well searching quite far. Theory about the falling stones. Countered him during our during their patrols, only to lose sight of him under a hail of rocks. Incidents have become all too frequent. Many of our rank demanding we act. For now, I'm afraid all I can, it's all the help I can do. Huh. So it's always falling rocks. That almost sounds like um. Like a bird dropping rocks from overhead, maybe. Huh. That's weird. Hey, where are you at? Hi. Taking it seriously. I explained the situation to the alchemists, and they provided a powder that should detect traces of magic in the surrounding environments. I say help because the powder only uh, rea uh, the powder reacts only faintly on its own. To function properly, it requires spilled. Oh, okay. Commit to the location of all sites of the just card of memory. Close to us was in perfumed rise. Okay. So wait, where are we going? Is that in the city? Okay, where am I going? Okay, where's the perfumed rice?
Okay, where is this quest, game? <laughs> God. Yeah. I wonder why I can't find it, because it's not even a town. Sighted near here, I didn't see any conspicuous stones around powder on this one. Focus here, or whatever it is, okay? Okay. Okay, what's that? So it's a magic rock. Maybe? Yeah, I'm not... not following. It's because there's no crystal inside the rock. The energy you detect must be remnants of some kind of spell. Taking uh, the story of the Radiant we rescued previously into account, we can conclude that Tajeshkar uses the treasure to call for stones down from the sky. At least now we have an inkling of its true nature. Even so, not every question has been answered. Uh, the Radiant told us that even as... The Jesticar stood before the creature. He seemed to be having trouble calling forth the Apex's power at first. Uh, my father once said that Perch of the Apex is much like uh, the wand he used to weave his magic. Of course, the main difference between them is the unique nature of the essence stored within the treasure. Uh, we know little of such arcane instruments, but you seem quite familiar with them. How do you use yours? Um... I mean, technically I channel ether through mine, but, like, I don't think that's what we're looking for. The right instrument spellcasting requires the use of specific techniques. Jessica seems to lack any exper expertise, so how did he tap into the treasure's power? Virtually, the Apex possesses some unique method of activation. Spoke to the representatives of the other tribe about their treasure, and no one mentioned special techniques being required. Not that the relics should have much in common to begin with. Uh-uh. You see an Ari girl pass through here by herself? No. I'm afraid not. 
I recognize you both. Hero of the final days and our recent visitor. Turn posing, but may I beg your assistance? Yeah, sure. It's all that Justicar's fault. Uh, the girl said she was off to join that fool's crusade and ran out. You made it before anyone could stop her. Here we go. So yeah, this is that paying the price bit that I was talking about. Mother begged to find her, even though... Uh, but she's following the Jessica. She could be anywhere, you see. Uh, he's been sighted at locations scattered all over Thavnir. Can't stand looking at rocks while the girl's in danger, especially if the Jessica is involved. We have to help. Much appreciated. We're searching places where the Jessica has been spotted, so perhaps you could start where he hasn't been seen. As far as I know, he hasn't been sighted at the northern shores. Let's look by where we go to the Tower of Zod, right? Yeah, it should be up that way, I think. Not uh, not up on that cliff, I hope. Um, Cause yeah, like I said, I can't fly, um, <laughs> and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what right now. Um, if, uh, you know, if the quest does require flight, I'm just gonna, you know, pretend like I don't have it and, uh, move on with my day. Um. <laughs> okay. Down. Okay. Um. A lot of area up on the top side, though. Well, it looks like I found the... Okay. Come on, hammer time! Oh, this is a long cast time. Okay. Skadoosh! <laughs> it's a good spell, though. Oh, wow. You are super young. Earth fighting came as fast as I could. I don't have any time to save the girl. You miss. Thank you. Glad you're safe, but your mother's worried sick. You shouldn't wander off like that, especially not looking for a trickster like the Justicar. Well, you mean he's a bad man? Yes, exactly. He stole an important treasure from my village, and now he's using it to make himself look brave. He needs it to kill monsters to protect us. It's no excuse for stealing. He might have fooled you younglings, but the Radiant Host know what he's up to. He saved us from monsters. He's our hero. The Radiant said we shouldn't be scared. Uh, but we all know the Jessicar is the one who keeps us safe. We don't need the Radiance anymore. Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't say bad things about the Radiance. They protected everyone in the final days, I guess. I guess I, you know, forgot how much they care about us. Sorry, too, I shouldn't have spoken to you like that after all you've been through. You said the Jessica is a thief and a trickster, but I hope it's not true. He's my hero. I'll escort her back. Just meet later, okay? See, this is kind of what I'm talking about, where I'm nervous. Um, the more he tries to use the, uh, the idol, the more, like, other people are going to sort of get in trouble slash in danger or whatever for, uh, you know, for what he's doing. 
Oh, pardon me. Okay. Mother reunited. I think we can both give ourselves a pat on the back. Uh, they're on their way for the radiant host that all's well. Apologize before I let my emotions get the better of me. Harangued a poor girl and she's hardly anything to blame. Neglected to tell you before. Man, uh, the man who now calls himself the Jester came to us in the guise of a worldly merchant. He was eager to ask about the perch of the apex and its history, and I was eager to tell him, uh, not even considering what he might do with the information. Oh! So proud of my father for being appointed as its guardian. I suppose I was trying to impress uh, the stranger out of sheer vanity. Vanity led to my father being attacked and the treasure being stolen from under our noses. No choice but to make amends for my mistake. Okay. I mean, that sucks, but... Convinced that the Jessicar's acts only serve the greater good, I couldn't accept that he might uh, not be as rotten as I thought, and I lashed out at the wrong person. Can't let my emotions cloud my judgment. Okay. The organization he serves... Uh, the passage of the Unbound is evil to its very core. Uh, if his actions at my village are not villainy, I don't know what is. The situation is fraught with contradictions. I don't know what to think. Yeah, there's still a lot of unanswered questions. He speaks of justice and heroism with great bluster. There's something we're missing. You. Uh, thank you for your wise words. Sometimes it's difficult to keep my heart from skewing uh, skewing my perspective. Grateful you're here to help. And change. Track them down. Okay. okay. I'm guessing that'll be it for now. I gotta come back in probably two, three, four levels. Let's see. Two. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Now enough distractions. Let's get back to uh, back to the main quest here. Okay, there we go. Black Pact, yes. Well, it's a shame to lose a capable goldsmith. Do we have one of our own handpicked to serve the third promise? Great honor. Appreciate your understanding. No other talented artisans, regardless of their expertise, hope to send you my way. You can even be yourself if you're so inclined. Nope. It's your kindness. It's workshop's first home in Julio Lel. I'm back if the momlins cut you loose. You'll always have a job here. Go back my things. Okay. I'm able to find him. Agree to become our bot swarm. We'll leave when you're ready. Do you still have a little time? Meet you soon. Now I have one more. There's faith in me. I won't let him down. Lock deliveries. Now pursue. Speak to Ropley and pursue new endeavors as you progress to the right of succession. The hell does that mean? First complete the side quest, Inscrutable Tastes. Okay. 
Special order, special delivery. What's inscrutable taste? Eh, whatever. Not important. Take care of at the palace. Back to the cabins, okay. Uh, where am I going? Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a crafting thing, so, um, I'm... I'm just gonna leave it, because I don't have any, uh... I don't have any crafting stuff, so... At a Landsguard messenger most anxiously awaiting your return. Third Promise Entourage. Been all over the city looking for you. Don't servant summons you to the palace. Present yourself at the gate guard station at Sunperch. Not to mention this visit to Wuklamot. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what it is. I'm over here. Oops. There we go. Hey. Kind of trouble that I get into now. Suggest battle regalia. Okay. Okay. Remember that part where I said I was gonna fight the uh, the dawn servant? Hi, buddy. When I learned my daughter's champion was back in the city, I couldn't resist the opportunity. There we go, that's what I thought. Solve for good reason. Old as I am, I have not lost a battle worthy of the name since the day I took the throne. And I've been craving a proper challenge. The land's welter, Stinian. He fought well enough, but our bout was ended before a victor could be decided. Yeah, Stinian does that. Sailor's gossip. You are a warrior of renown in your homeland. You can say that. Yet I wonder, with all your deeds done and victories won, are you warrior enough to stand against me? So long as neither of us gets too carried away, why don't we find out? Ha ha ha! 
The battle rages upon me. I'll stop short of killing you, of course. But expect no other mercies. Come! Ready your arms and show me the truth of the tales. All right. Well, I'll paint you a picture. No balls. Okay, I'm going to start with that. What in the hell? Oh, good lord! <laughs> okay, what the hell, game? There's not even a good marker for that. This fight is awful for my character. What the hell? <laughs> Hey, what is the point here? Cause like I cannot deal nearly enough damage for this. Like Like, am I supposed to, like, deal some amount of damage for this? Like, what is... Yeah, I don't, um... Like, I... I don't know if I'm supposed to win this fight or not, or how I'm supposed to, like... Because I don't deal, like, any damage to this person. And this isn't fucking properly marked, game! <laughs>
Uh, whatever the hell that marker you think that means, it doesn't fucking show anything in terms of where you're supposed to stand. Okay, so there's nowhere to stand. Yeah, like... Uh, I think I stand here... Hey, how much damage am I supposed to be dealing? Like, like, what is the marker here? Like, this fight is taking fucking forever. can stand here. I guess I use this, like, I don't know, like... Okay. Yeah, I... Like, I don't understand what the marker is, right? Like, this is... this is insanely difficult. <laughs> okay, whatever, fuck it, I don't care. Um... <laughs> like, the... For this class, dealing... doing this encounter is fucking stupid. Like, there's way too much movement. I never get to actually fucking hit him. <laughs> So like I don't know what it uh what it actually expects of me here. Um which is just it's just fucking annoying. Yeah, skip it. I don't care. I'm Yeah, I mean, I think it would also help if, you know, the game actually provided me with some half-decent gear, like... The 
Viper style. Ah, let's see how you handle this. Yeah, I like, see now at least my spells are dealing like some amount of damage. Where like last time all my spells didn't even move his fucking health bar. Like what were they expecting? Oh, okay, well, missed that. Yeah, I, I don't like fights like this where um, it, it feels like you're not supposed to succeed or um, there are classes that just don't succeed because of the fact that, like, you know, I have to constantly fucking move. <laughs> so let me stand still and fucking cast spells, goddammit. Oh my god. Stop with the... Oh, okay. Um, no, okay, can't stand there. Yeah, this class feels really, um, unsuited for this encounter. Yeah, holy crap, they actually expected me to deal like his entire health bar. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, because, like, I have to constantly just sit here and do nothing. You really are formidable. Okay. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure what's going on. Oh my god, stop with the fucking bullshit. Okay. Uh, okay. Missed all those, cool. Okay, are we done now? That will do. You've shown me more than enough. Okay, thank Christ. This fight is fucking bullshit. You spend more of it moving around, avoiding the fucking mechanics, than you do actually doing the fight. I brought my full strength to bear against opponents before, but you are the first to withstand it. Even with my head of reason asleep, I never expected you to give me so much trouble.
Castilian did not exaggerate. You are a force to be reckoned with. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I find Pictomancer really struggles when you don't get to, like, stand still. Although I will admit, I also have no I have no clue as to what, like, anything close to a rotation would be for, uh, you know, for, for the class, so I won't pretend to, you know, have any idea how to actually play it. But I mean, I don't know how I would have done with Red Mage either. I said I crave a challenge, and that was no lie. But I had another reason for calling you here. Okay. I had to judge for myself if you were fit to attend my beloved daughter. Uh, I'll, I'll follow. In some respects, she is much like me. Hot headed and prone to rush into danger. Okay. But one with your talents could readily dispatch the threats to Barnamachi's way. Okay. Will you hear my question and answer me plainly? Address me not as the ruler of Tuliola, but a concerned father. Okay. Thank you. Then tell me, given your journey together thus far, what is your impression of Lamati? Whether he be as their promise or just a companion on the road. Speak your mind. I mean, she wants to help people. But. Ooh. I like this one. She's young, but she has potential. Because, um, I mean, I how the hell would I know if she's ready to rule or not, right? Like. I'm no, I'm no ruler. I'm just, you know, I'm just the strongest stick in the, uh, you know. A tactful response, but agreed. She is not ready for the throne. Not yet. Okay. Hmm. Lama T thinks she understands our many peoples, their histories, their cultures, their beliefs. But she knows only what she's seen in the capital. And it's not only her who concerns me. Even this early in the contest, you must have realized. As potential rulers, all four claimants are lacking. Yep. This is why I elected to hold the right of succession. Not to choose a fitting candidate, but to cultivate one. That's clever. And if no one has impressed me by the end of it, then to no one will I yield my throne. Interesting. I didn't see that one coming. As a parent, I pray that my children rise to the occasion. <laughs> With outsiders dragged into my game, I am also hopeful that the different perspectives you and your companions have to offer will inspire them to grow. Yeah, that's always the hope, I think. I imagine you in particular have traveled many lands. Know many peoples and cultures, love them and be loved in turn. I met rabbit people on the moon. I am a chi as you think best. Walk at our side and, when needed, push her to walk ahead. Yeah, he really is a doting father. There I was, about to sit down for some of Namika's cooking, when I heard that Papa had sent for you. 
You were dueling behind my back, weren't you? Ha! <laughs> I see there is no point in denying it. You needn't worry, daughter. I took care not to inflict lasting injuries. You and your ally may return to the contest without disadvantage. No harm done. I swear, just as I was learning newfound respect for my father. Let's take our leave of this battle-mad oaf before he calls on the rest of my entourage. Really want to see him just, you know, just stomp on Alphino in this <laughs> in an encounter. Watch over her, champion. Kuna's recruits are no less sharp, as one might expect of Galov's countrymen. They saw the flaws in our claimants from the outset. The other two, though, they dismiss comrades willing to point out their shortcomings, and no good can come of it. Yep. Keep dueling till the day he dies. Last willing friend, really loved your fearsome reputation. Just a sparring partner. Oh hey, I made another level, nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Lefty or Zia prepared to travel. Search for work so I had few belongings. I mean, I've been gone a while. I mean, I, I literally went to Thavnir, you know, over to Thavnir and... A word before you go. Who's that? Okevu. Your demands be so gruesome. Besides, I told you that kind of thing doesn't bother me. All right then. Purchase supplies when I spotted your entourage getting ready to leave. You seek the city of gold, if I'm not mistaken. Final step of the rite of succession. Do you know anything about the subject? I'd love to hear it. <clears throat> Legends of the Golden City have been passed down for Tyrol for thousands of years. Uh, yet when it comes to describing the place itself, the stories do not always agree. Some portray it as one might expect, a glittering metropolis of golden towers. Uh, others suggest 
more unassuming and owes its name to a fabulous treasure hidden in its heart. Every telling, however, has a common thread. Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. Okay. I mean, we, we kind of got that. Uh, the lesson to be learned from this third promise is that to seek the legend is to court death. I must implore you to proceed with the utmost care. That's all I wish to say. Okay, I mean... I guess that makes sense. What do we make of these cautionary tales? If every expedition has ended in tragedy, how, how then did the Dawn Servant find the city in return without incident? The legend originated with the Yokhoi. Uh, speaking with them remains our strongest lead, I feel. A lead which we shall follow in time. But first, let's see Fontaine safely to the Moblin's care. I'm, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Okay. Meanwhile, in Gozama. Finding a willing artisan was even easier than expected. Many indeed are eager to curry favor with the Resilian Sun, especially if it means sharing the promise of new territories. Those who prove useful will have all the land they desire. Such generous words, yet the manner in which he speaks them. If neither wealth nor territory are of value, wherefore does he seek to bring the world to heal? Hmm. Step aside. Remind me. There was no rule against poaching craftsmen from other claimants. Was there? Do not be foolish, Bakul Jaja. <laughs> foolish would be carrying on with these tall feats when all I need to win are the keystones. And besides, it's long past time I humble this arrogant one head. Ooh. The Don may have sired you against all odds, but there is nothing blessed about your birth. Oh. Only a two head is fit to rule. Only we are worthy. Draw your weapon. Face me in battle and learn your place. Ooh, A Viper style. Promise. Leave him alive if you would. I foresee a use for this nuisance. Well, this happened a lot earlier than I expected. First move. Then allow me. Oh, <laughs> that was fast. Thanks for your restraint. I can kill him whenever I please. Oh. <laughs> your part. 
part in this is far from over. Okay, so Surreal is going to uh, get him to jump us, I think. Or Kona, or both. Or not. Okay, not us. Worked in Ulda. Wonderful, impressive. First to return. Oh! Across the salt, no less. Welcome. Any skills to Earthenshire? Show you to your work pot. Sure not to disappoint you. Keystone, okay. Okay, but hold on. So he doesn't have, so uh, the other doesn't have one then. Another keystone acquired. Healer is admirable. You apply that Charlian knowledge you shall cherish. An arm to roll with weapons of Magitech design. Ooh. And your role as the new Dawn Servant's chief advisor, of course. Uh, the tools of war hold no interest to me. I wish only to improve our nation through practical innovation. Foreign powers will think twice about testing our strength once Tuliolal is known for its advance, for its advanced technology. Just as the Garlean Empire was deterred from invading Charlian. True, but how long will it take Tuliolal to progress to this advanced state? How many years? Collective commitment to education and hard work it should not take so very. Your way is too slow. Ooh, that's what it is. He has, uh, he doesn't have patience. Easier to expand our territory and sh swallow Charlie and whole. It is the, uh, well, sort of the furthest east, west. Yeah. Conquer other nations through. Uh, force of arms, you're looking at a future of up uprisings and bloodshed. Yours won't be the first failed empire. When we keep fighting until the mounting costs convince them to lay down their weapons, until all have grown tired of loss. Oh! I wasn't kidding, this guy's just out for blood. How would such an outcome bring anyone joy? What you propose is mockery of peace. Reminded of days long ago. Time before Tuliola, there was no... Oh, there were no pot packs for the pot sworn. It was normal to grab snatch artisans, force them to work for, mobby, for moblins. Till the day Ghoul Judge arrived, the families... Uh, the grab snatch pleaded with him, so they came, and so he came to Earthenshire. Um, are not a war make people. We fear death. Oh, we fear death had come for us, but Gulja just wanted to talk. Be at ease. We are here to trade words, not blows. 
Gold work crafted in this village are superb. One can tell at a glance the quality of materials used, the mastery of techniques employed. Yet it does not stir the heart. A goblet shaped by bound hands and broken spirit is devoid of luster. Uh, compare that now to the works of a joyful artisan. She pours her very soul into her creations and they shine like a newly risen sun. Have you not seen this to be true? Oh, okay. So began the customs of good living. Happy pots were and make good works and good works make mobbies happy. Okay, well, yeah. Lul Jaja's words were wise. Uh, Joy Smiles did indeed bring fine crafts and much jingle, well, and much gold. So the head of reason was behind the forging of pot pacts. Yes, reason and for think changed Mobby's way of life. Hmm. First promised tires of your talk of olden days, he would rather look to the future to the next feat. Oh. Should be getting on as well. Well, Jaja never did come back, did he? A well, moment, third promise. Uh, would repay you for helping with Kai. He brings a tale of the Golden City. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. It's not from you. Towers of streets, all fashioned from gold, everywhere you look. Every splendor you can imagine. Uh, the young, the old, and everyone in between, they lived in golden happiness, a city of eternal bliss, forever perched above the clouds. Everything's fashioned from gold, eh? And just imagine everyone living in golden happiness. So that's a city I'd like to visit. Excuse me, where did you hear this particular tale? Uh, from our longtime Yokoi friends. They live up in the mountains in Urkpacha. The giants again. Seems everything's pointing us their way. Everything leading up uh, to it has taught me much about the Moblin way of life. Uh, I'll be sad to leave Earthenshire and your joy smiles behind. Oh, <laughs> she's using uh, Moblin language now. Golden mysteries notwithstanding, their village features prominently in the saga. We can't ignore it. Highlands should be easy enough to reach. If we leave Earthenshire from the west, there's a road which leads up to the mountains. Let's find that first. Oh, okay. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Let's go find this road. Oh, that's really cool looking. Some sort of, like... Almost looks like a tree tri triceratops or something. That looks really cool. Or, well, with the wings, it almost looks like some sort of, like, arbor, you know, some sort of, like, ar you know, some sort of, like, Arboreal dragon of some sort. Going to get steep from here on. I hope everybody's ready for some climbing. 
Glad I caught up to you. Asked me to bring you back to the village. Says there's something she forgot to give you. Item of great importance, or so I was told. Won't take long. Please follow me. This is all about. Well, no need for everyone to come. I'll be back in a little while. No, I'm going back. Never mind, I'm waiting. Okay. Getting ridiculous, you get lost on the way back. It's only one road. Underestimate Wuklamot's sense of direction or lack thereof. Eh, she's not answering her phone. <laughs> Well, no, that's what we were told. I'm guessing this is, uh... I'm guessing this is the plot. Where that's the plan is we gotta... We're gonna have, uh... The other guy, uh, get in the way. Because he's going to try and take, um, what's-her-name's tablet. Or, uh... Things are promised since you were last here, okay? That's what I thought. She not with you. Uh -huh. anything you find okay okay in our search wherever the game tells me All right, let's go find our lost, uh, our lost promise here. Okay. Getting on the motorcycle. No claimants passing this way. Flex about a Pelu peddler. Many fires was attacked by a crazy haired bandit on the road. Go to many fires. Okay, we're. Okay, we are starting to. 
get very far away from uh, where we lost our friend here. Um, Okay. I could help you with bandit attack. That I recognize you. Yeah, I remember second promise. Was that scoundrel Keska? You know the name. There's no mistaking the hair. All my peddler friends have stories of that notorious bandit leader and his predations. Guess he and his gang stoop to any loaf. For the sake of a few pell, no fresh quarry coming over, coming up the broken stair, they become more creative. Dilemma T likes he thinks to ransom her. Okay. Trick disguise, special discount. They're very well, I'll accept your generous deal. Jeez. Well, oh. Oh, you paid me a hefty purse in exchange for a rare gemstone. Right. Okay. Uh Merchant you to say envy the profit he must have made for such a sale. Okay. Let's start. Enthusiastic Moblin, probably. Sparkle Stone for your collection. Okay. One last act to drive it home. Guessing the cheery pelu here. Oh. Please fill his pockets with your grateful coin, eh? Yep. It's a pill of my own, who knows, maybe the opportunity will find me, even if it's found. Single purchase of yours should see me well through the idle leisures. Okay.
Yeah, I saw. Rats come for a nibble. Okay. One of many talents. Learn of Acacia. Spring our trap. Final stages of the plan. Set out alone and unarmed. Better to sell the active defenseless merchant. Watching. Likely wait for some quiet stretch of the road. Remaining hidden until the time comes to spring the trap under Bandit King. We need him alive. Damn it, that sucks. Just hoping not to have to worry about that part. Okay. Ugh. Okay. The leg how? You know, how far back do you want me to... Okay, never mind. <laughs> nope. I think that's them already, possibly. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay. Good to you, Master Merchant. How about you share some of that profit? And by some, I mean every coin you have. Chip so collector. Oh, I see what this is. We've been tricked. Spit in your eye, man. Kill the withdrawal. Interrogate his underlings instead. Leave them capable of speech. I promise nothing. I think I left one. Alright. I'm going to talk to your boss, but I suppose three of you will have to do. Second promise, what do you want with us? I'm scared of a fancy title. I'll take your royal ears as trophy as soon as I get free of these ropes. Gangs behind my sister's abduction. Tell me where she is. Yet no answer from us. That's right. We don't serve you. Ooh. Now the third promise. That's all. We don't know where they took her. Weren't told that either, only she you knows is the one who took the job. These criminals, I'll call on Thankard and his tracking skills. It's who, meantime, that direction. Okay. Back on the bicycle.
I just would say, oh god, don't make me do another one of these looking around thing. Oh, there he is. He didn't get that far. Notice they're fall too far behind. I freaking hate these quests. These are so f***ing annoying. Meant to be easy. Okay, he's got a lot. I was about to say, he's gone a long way without, like, turning around or anything. Oh. Friggin' called it. <sighs> okay, said to meet him. Okay. Oh, bingo. They're maybe hunting us already. We had our own troubles finding a suitable hideaway. Take your prize and leave me with the rest. You were hurting for coin and I offered you gainful employment out of kindness of my heart. Kindness, you brought the blackened tempest upon us. Look, I could tell that woman was a killer, a butcher, salted devil the flesh. Oh, spare me your feeble bleeding. Go on, scamper away before, before the scary mercenary comes to claim your head.
All right. Plot. The bandits were hired by this Wubingo. The second, stay on the mumble jaw's tail. We don't want to endanger the third promise, so keep your distance until we're... Oh, god damn it. Keep finding new locations. I mean, I, I can't tell you that I'll be able to find my way back to these places, but... Oh, for fuck's sakes, game! <laughs> Fuck, that's fucking annoying. Goes all this way and then just randomly fucking decides that he's turning around. Fuck, that's annoying. This is why I hate these fucking quests. Yeah, how do I fucking skip this? No! Just let me fucking go to the next part! Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of these, um, of, uh, these missions. Um, the, uh, the, the less of them they have in the game, the better. Because, I mean, they're just a fail, they're like a, you know, they're like a succeed-fail mechanic. Because there was no way that I could have known that that was going to happen. So I just automatically fail because I'm trying to get across the, uh, you know, to the other side, right? Like... So I just, it's, it's really, it's just really annoying as a, uh, you know, as a quest mechanic, basically, because all of a sudden I'm just like, oh, look at that, I failed. Oh, fuck off, game. No, fuck off. Yeah, this is fucking annoying. I'm... Yeah, I'll try this one more time, otherwise I'm done. I'm just gonna do this off stream uh, tomorrow. This is just fucking annoying. Like I said, I really fucking hate these quests. No. I want to just move on. Get fucked, game. <laughs> Yeah, you made me do this once. That was more than en that was way more than enough. Twice is too like I didn't like these last expansion. I don't like them now. The game's not designed for this. Don't put them in. Like Yeah, if I wanted more quests like this, I would have played Ninja and they should have put it in there. Like, you know, in the story for that. Otherwise, this is just fucking tedious. Just let me play the damn game.
I guess I have to stand here till he fucking decides that, you know, whatever, but... Okay. So now the boat can't go. <clears throat> Better late than never. That Marmorja. He's the one who kidnapped Wook Lamart. So we're still unsure. If we can follow him a bit longer, confirm his connection to the abductors. <sighs> that will complicate matters. Found it. If I set out now, I can trail them along the riverbank. Do it. Even if it costs you the contest. What worth is the throne if I lose my sister to win it? Yeah, that. Yeah. Good head on him, at least. Very well then. I'll send word when I locate her. Till then, I suggest you save your strength. A rescue attempt could turn ugly. Wait, are we getting another dungeon already, or is it a trial, maybe? That who be gorgeous now. I swear I've seen him with Bakul Jaja. Knowing the way that monster works, he probably hired bandits to kidnap her so we could steal her keystones. Makes sense. Even alone, my sister is more than a match for a gang of untrained ruffians. She must have been ambushed or deceived. I should have been there. I thought you were the cool headed one. Wow. <clears throat> Trust him, but <sighs> forgive me. Snapping at you won't get my sister back. I'm afraid I've always been like this when it comes to Lamachi. The thought of her being in danger sends me into a panic. But isn't that how families should be? Yeah. These days, Turali Mikote live however they please. But the clan into which I was born kept to the nomadic traditions of our ancestors. They herded their own neck across the plains, always moving with the seasons. Okay. During one such migration, my birth parents left me behind. A child. 
all alone, without a single word of explanation. Okay. That explains why he doesn't have a lot of attachment to. With a kind Pelu merchant, was the only reason I survived. Taking pity on me, he taught me his trade that I might fend for myself. I became a stallkeeper in Tuli Yolal's market. And that is where the Don servant found and adopted me. Mm. I had already been in the palace some time when Nabachi came to join us. Like me, she had been cast aside by her parents. I knew the pain of solitude and wanted to spare her that suffering. As this tiny child's new brother, I swore I would always be there for her. I wonder if they're going to set up that um, there are two leaders as the Dawn Servant. So, voice of reason and voice of... Um, nothing to rescue her. Like, I don't know what the two voices are, but... So, these two might, like, lead together. While we await word from Thancred, I suggest we prepare ourselves to travel downriver. You have a boat, yes? Maybe. Why release the Panity if not to delay pursuit? If we were unsure of their guilt before, then this surely proves it. Before we act, however, let us regroup with your comrades. Would you mind making the call? No, that's fine. Like I said, this feels like Dungeon 2 or, Understood. uh... We'll meet you in many fires. Or, uh, Trial 1, maybe? But, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, the first dungeon, you know, came up pretty quick, so... This feels very close to, like, when the second, your, uh... Like, this, this feels very close on the heels of the first dungeon, though, so I think it's maybe Trial 1, but... Progress, uh, take that to mean I've given up the contest. Okay. Okay, feeding the river. Okay, I want to see what I can do to, uh, if I can figure out what this is leading to here. Present situation. Okay. Someone else will be plot dumping for a change. <clears throat> Shadowing the boat even as we speak. I'd like to join him with all haste. Unfortunately, our quarry has the foresight. Release the impunity from Parnas, leaving us without a means of pursuit. An expert in wildlife, what are our chances of recapturing the beast? Safita can be done. I'd like an extra hand to help scatter it, no doubt. Company him. Okay. Getting it getting the harness repaired, damaged. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't do us any good. A little trouble person. Purchasing replacement materials, necessary metal workers and shires artisans are but a short walk away. Okay, sorry, I thought I heard something out in the uh, outside my apartment. Uh, unusually aggressive hue to punity downriver, so the girl fled in the opposite direction. Try the upriver. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's go.
This way, hiding in the depths of the lake, you need to lure back to the shadows, promise of food, aquatic grasses and plants, tame ones are often fed vegetable scraps. Okay. Crawling with predators, scatter feed deeper in, waiting near the shallows. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run out of road here. Almost? No? Okay, cool. It's really pretty here. Yeah, the pink, uh, all the pink plants. I mean, I don't know if this classifies as shallow, shallow water, my dude. This classifies as like a small stream. What? Huh? Just doing what I'm told. the bait. Okay. Stay out of sight, leave the rest of Ironveil. I can do that. Here she is. Oh, hey. Be afraid I just need your help one last time. Yeah, wager, come on, come with me. Oh, those things can fly! Sort of. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. A few more treats, lead her over to the boat. Okay. Sounds good to me. That I can do. Okay, yeah. I think I'm gonna push a little further and then, uh... Probably call it here for tonight. I'm kinda hoping to push forward and see if I can't, uh... Like, like I said, this feels really like, uh... We're pushing to, um... Pardon me, we're, we're getting to, like, trial slash... You know... Whatever here. Um... Uh, but I don't want to presume. Unity in hand. That's from a gleaner. Harness able to purchase all the parts we need. Twins over to Earthenshire. Having the pots to make repairs. Shouldn't take too long. Okay. Sibling rescue. Oh. Okay. The Hagrid must know something by now as he gets a phone call. Understood. Thank you. Okay. Had to invoke his name. They could follow the boat. Designation confirmed that they are indeed holding my sister captive. They, of course, being the cool to John as minions, I swear, make them regret this. It's in the rich leaf tunnels. The moment the harness is repaired, we strap it to the punity and make our way back down. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, I think this is. Or not. Okay. Um. So this is just a... Okay, this is just happening. Okay. Um, I figured this was some sort of trial or something. Um, uh, 
Dengred. The third promise is up ahead. She's unharmed, but we best not dally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, uh, Aaronville, you got some, uh, <laughs> you got, you got something to hit people with in there? Because I think this is our eight. If, uh, you know, Aaronville actually, uh, you know, had something to hit people with. Yep, that's what I thought. Give it back! Volgenstein poured his everything into that stone. No right to touch it. Oh, was that the name of your artisan? How could you allow something so precious to be stolen? Wow, what a dick! You thieving cheat! You're no true claimant. <laughs> What does that make the foolish kitty who fell into my trap? If pitiful roars were all it took to claim the throne, you'd be first in line. Oh, shots fired. Now, now, brother. You shouldn't tease her. Look, the poor thing's on the verge of tears. Yeah. Someone save me! <laughs> oh, did that! Who do you think? His scales are as thick as his skulls. Coward! You dare ambush me! Is the blessed sibling's favorite tactic. Oh, that useless Buddha was sick of it. He was supposed to keep the lackeys running in circles. Oh, you must tell me all about that. Careful now. You wouldn't want to hit our hostage. Okay, what? That one's not to be underestimated. Ta! They can do nothing while we have. Impeccable timing. Okay. Figured, figured Thackard was going to do that. Amachi, are you all right? I, thanks to you. Oh, now we have our eighth. Now are we getting it? Now is it the trial? Oh, yeah, because now, uh,. This day, and Zoranja has left us hurting. No, I won't stop until I got these maggots and feed them their entrance. If we fall here, we fail our siblings for nothing. Is that what you want? <sighs> no, brother. Oh, you go run. Ja, ja. 
I'm glad these sunglasses don't do anything. <laughs> do we give chase? We head back. How much she is safe. And that is what matters. Okay, but where does that leave us, though? Because we're down, we're one keystone short now. So do we have to redo the pot thing? Armed, okay. Coming to my rescue. Must be desperate indeed to resort to such aggressive tactics. Shouldn't have been so careless. I underestimated him. It cost me a keystone. Upended his life so that, he, so that I could accomplish the Moblin's feat. He believed in me, my cause, and I let him down. I come straight in a scaly behind and take back my keystone. And but cool judge got cursed some useless bono a sycophant when he caught sight of us. Reference to Zareel Jai, I assume. Uh, he is devoted to our brother and is the only bono I know of participating in the rate of succession. Zoral Jaw was somehow involved in this. Never forgive him for putting our sister in danger. He will get his right to be called brother. Ooh. Huh. Should face punishment, of course, but so must the bandits who had retreat to abduct Lamati. I shall request Father send a contingent of lands guard to enforce the law in this region. I mean to keep travelers safe, but I wonder what pushes what pushed these people towards a life of banditry in the first place. If we dig deeper, we might find a way to improve things for everyone. something to think about for now however the right continues thank you all for your help because yeah right now we're we're one behind are we really well enough to travel okay sir old jaws gained a good head start it's time we clawed back some of our lost ground huh yeah, I was starting to think that uh, we might get a, uh, like, get a trial or something, but okay. I'll let my guard down a little. Let's just appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I think, however, this is a good place to leave this for tonight. Um, yeah, so... Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow. I'm going to continue from here. Um, pardon me. Uh, with uh, yeah, going into yeah, going to the uh, Yahweh village. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody so much for watching. And uh, we will see you all tomorrow. Alright, have a good night everybody.